guys welcome back to our channel the Soren Seaward family I'm Ivy if you're new here go ahead and smash the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video so let me tell you guys what is going on all right so a few days ago Ivy was upstairs and she was playing with destiny and apparently she was swinging around a belt and a belt buckle popped her in the eye when they said Ivy got hit in the eye you know the first thing I'm saying I'm like y'all need to sit down up there stop playing around so much so later on I notice her eye is still watering, her eye is still red, and I'm like, okay, well, let me hit up Sheila and Brie and see what they think. Like, you know, I, I was like, y'all, first of all, let me just say this, I am scared, you know, um, Ivy's eye looked jacked up. It's not bruised or anything like that, but it was just red and it's just watering, and it wasn't swollen or anything like that. So they asked me like a ton of questions, and then Brie from Fun With The Girls, she was like, you know, something happened to her daughter's eye, just giving me her input on what had happened with her. And then, you know, Sheila, who is telling me TV, you know, she's texting, and we're just all going back and forth. And I'm like, y'all, I don't want to call the doctor. They're going to think that I'm beating on my kids. They're not going to believe that that girl hit herself in the head, hit herself in the head, hit herself with the, the, the belt, whatever. So they was like, doctors deal with stuff all the time, whatever. They're like, just keep an eye on it. Look to see what it's like that. So, you know, I got on Google and researched some stuff. But then, today, it's like, it's not getting any better. So, you know what? I was like, you know what? I know it's a pandemic. It's a, it's a, the virus is out here. I ain't want to be nobody's doctor. I said, but I'm going to call her doctor and we are going to see what they say. So immediately they was like, I need to bring her in. They need to check out her eye, and you guys. Oh. So yeah, check this out. Be sure to check out Seaward Creations at EtsyShop.com where you can get customized Moment Mugs and Moment Mugs designed by the Soren Seward family. We look forward to sending you your very own Moment Mug. And remember, all you need is a moment. Look up at me. Look up. Look up, look to your right, look to your left, look down at your feet, and look all the way up at me again. Looks like the abrasion typically heals up in 48 hours or so. So I don't see any abrasion there. I think it's just. <laughs> so how do you feel? Uh, good. That was. Uh, I'm sorry, you have to go through this. <laughs> it was interesting. Yeah. So yes, um, I have to go pick up some stuff for your eye. Yeah. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Wait, did you get, wait, you got 50 of them? It's 50, that's how they come. Wait, is this new? Or has it always been like this? I don't know. We stopped at Dunkin' Donuts. They are gonna have donuts. And this she did so such cool. a good job. She loves Dunkin' Donuts, so I got her some stuff, and then I got something for everybody. Yes. But look at this 50 count of munchkins. Woo! Can donut hoes. Can I have one? <laughs> <laughs> when we get home and wash our hands. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is so cool. So that's why they said that you can't be outside. Yeah. Because it still hurts. Even though there's no sun out, it's still daylight. So, and it'll feel better once we start the antibiotics and steroids. Okay. okay. Alright. Till then, till next time, enjoy them donut holes. <laughs> so now I am, hold on, in the car and I'm headed to go pick up prescriptions. I need to go inside of Walmart and I need to get um 
eye patches. Hopefully they have some um, in the stores. I do have um, a mask. It's a sock mask. Um, we don't have, I haven't been able to get my hands on any, um, on any mask. But um, we have been just doing face coverings and then I take a coffee filter, wrap it up in a paper towel and put that underneath of the sock mask. Anyways, um, it's just a sock mask. Um, I'll show it to you guys. Don't be coming for a mask either. I got a face cover. I'm doing the best I can in this pandemic of what I can and what I have, okay? So, um, I gotta pick up some things. So I'm headed out right now. Um, I got my hand sanitizer in the car. I got some Clorox wipes in the car. I got gloves in the car. I have a lot of stuff with me to help keep me on the straight and narrow and do the best that I can in this coronavirus episode of everyone's lives, okay? But all that being said, um, y'all, I'm glad that my baby didn't have no abrasions on her eye. And hopefully, you know, in a few days, everything will be okay. At least the, the redness and then the stuff of her being inflamed with. He gonna, um, so it's this guy next to me, right? And he gonna look at me. He was the one picking his nose. He gonna look at me and then move forward. You the one picking your nose. I pick at my nose too, so it's not even really a big deal like that. But anyways, I hope that everything ends up going okay with her. Cause she was nervous, but she did good in the appointment. I don't know how well I would have had done, but you guys, I'm gonna just take you guys along with us during this process because I've never been through this process with an eye before. We're gonna see how it goes. So, yo, see you back at the house because I don't wanna be recording um, while I'm in the store and then just touching extra stuff. Like when I go in the stores and I have to go in the stores, you guys, I try to be as focused as possible, touching things as minimum as I can and my mind is somewhere else. So me trying to vlog and get all that on camera, um, isn't gonna, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. I, I, I don't, I don't work like that, sorry. Um, other people are great at it. I'm not great at it. When I go in them stores, I'm like, like a ninja, like ducking and dodging people. We still social distancing. Yes, we're in Texas and they're reopening everything under the sun, but we are still in social distancing. Nobody is allowed to come over. We not going to nobody's house. Um, and that's just is what it is. Y'all gotta realize my mother has stage four kidney failure. Um, she is not a candidate for a replacement. She is not a candidate for dialysis. It's not about us. You know, it's not about us and um, regardless of what it is, I love my mother enough to know that I don't want my mother being sick for something that I went out and brought home because I want to be up in somebody's face. Sorry, that's just not what it is. And I love my kids enough and my husband, he's working from home. He don't have to go back to work. Um, I'm at home, you know, we do things and we just do things different. And not knocking anybody who want to do, you know, get together with your family. We don't have no family here. You know, we have friends and stuff. We don't have no family here. Our mom and dad, they cancel their trip. They not coming. My cousins and them, they not coming because it's just not safe for us. Um, we, we just not, do. dude, dude, you can't come. You can't come across the street on a green light, bruh. So, um, yeah, so, but anybody else, y'all, you know, people out here, there's cars everywhere, KFC open, Whataburger open, people going inside, eating, dining, and doing whatever. Everything open in Texas, y'all, everything. They opening up, um, summer camps and all that. My kids not going to no summer camp. They not going into none of that. None, none, look at the gyms is open. Everything is open, y'all. Here in Texas, they didn't open it up. But that don't mean don't proceed with caution. You know, some people out here, they, they, they just... They're not even wearing masks anymore. But maybe they ain't got no masks. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I, I know I'm gonna continue to work outside. I'm not going to nobody's gym. Um, no, no, and no. Sorry, I'm sorry. But like I said, everybody not in the same situation that I'm in. They might be able to, to take a risk like that and do what they have to do. And some people, they have to go, um, back to work and they had to go back to the office to do their job. Y'all stay safe. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about, I'm not going to no birthday parties. I'm not um, doing none of that. I'm, I'm sorry. Please don't, please don't hate me. I, I, I'm just not comfortable with, with, with doing that yet. You know, power to you if you are and I know you're being safe and you're going to do what you need to do, but uh, you know, hmm. 
All right, I'm out of here. So I am back and I have Ivy, she's on the bed. She is going to be holding the phone. She's been wearing shades until I get back to I get the eye patches. So I have this eye patch, this eye patch, and then I have medicine for her, the eye drops. And I am about to put them in right now. It was a complete mess out there. There's so many people outside at the stores and stuff like that. But like I said, I'm gonna take you guys to the process until, and just see what this is all like for me. If I look a mess, it's life is happening right now. I don't really care. Um, my face is breaking out more than normal. You guys know that I have like acne prone skin anyways. It's like very sensitive. Um, so who knows what's going on. So let's get to it. So Ivy's gonna be recording with the phone. All right, Ivy? Okay. Uh, first, let me get a look at this eyeball. Hmm. Let's see if I got it. Open it bigger. Look up. Okay. Compared to the other eye, you can see the difference. All right, Puda, let's get this going. My hands are clean, I already washed them. Okay. Yeah. You got this, girl, you got this. Look, just look up or look to the side. All right. One, okay, close it, move around. Open it back up, let's get this done. Do it again, over, and two. There we go. All right, keep it closed. Let it work, it's magic. Let it, I'm going to put an eye patch on here, and then I'm gonna put this protector over it, okay? Okay. Okay, close it on. Just lay it on here like that. This one feels much more stronger than the other one was, right? Mm -hmm. Feel like it fits better? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys, this is still day one with the eye injury, but I will check back in. And like I said, I'm taking you guys with us to see how the recovery with Ivy's eye go. Keep her in prayer. Ready? Look this way. It's okay. Close it. Let me get in here. Do the second one, okay? Look over to the side. Much better. So that's it. And we have to wait five minutes. You have to do the each medicine five minutes apart. Yeah. All right. So now we are putting in the second one. Ivy is going to look over. Open it. Open it. One. Open it and one more. Just, just leave it there. Just hold your head back over that way. And we're gonna put that over there. And then we'll finish throughout the day. And we'll see you guys back tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> All right, you guys, so now we're about to update on Ivy's eye. It has been a few days and we took you guys along with us as we took medicine and stuff like that. Now we're in the bathroom and we're going to check out her eye. Hey, Ivy. So we're gonna peel this off and you guys remember how red it was before. So let's just look. So let's just look and see. Go ahead, open your eyes. Look at the camera, like open it. <laughs> it's much better. It is still healing. It's still a little red right there. So we're going to put some medicine in her eye. And today will be our last day putting the medicine in our eye and then letting it adapt. You can see how it's kind of a little watery. And it's still a little lazy because it's tired. It hasn't been working. So we will check back in with you guys. So let's go ahead and get this medicine in. <sighs> All right, you guys, so to wrap up this eye injury, I would definitely say if, excuse me, if, excuse me if I seem a little bit tired because I really am, 
but I would say um, shout out to Sheila and Bree because um, as soon as everything happened, I was like, you guys, they're gonna think that I popped her in the eye. You know, people are abusing their kids and all this other stuff. They was like, girl, call her doctor. We was really kind of nervous because uh, I really didn't want nothing to be wrong with her eye and Ivy was like super duper nervous too. But um, thank you guys for rolling with us. As you can see, her eye is healing well and it's going good. I will um, insert some pictures so you can see what it looks like um, compared to when we first started to where it is right now after a few days of taking the antibiotics and the steroids. Um, shout out to the doctors and everybody who's like being safe and just still being on the front line trying to keep everyone intact. And you guys, y'all can see that I am exhausted. Ah. All right. Until next time, you guys, thank you for coming along and being a part of our family and, and just giving us feedback on our vlogs and being a part of our life. So stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people just like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Story Stupid Family channel, you are needed. And if you have any questions and something that you didn't see in the video and that you want to know, just drop a comment down below. Till next time, peace out.